The Satellite Communication System, or SATCOM, is used to transmit and receive voice and digital data when distance, atmospheric, or operational needs dictate. VHF voice communications and HF voice communications were discussed previously. Now let's take a look at SATCOM voice communications. When a ground to airplane call is received, the SATCOM communication system alerts the flight crew by displaying the cell call communications message on ICAS. In addition, a high-low chime is heard. A call light illuminates on all audio control panels, indicating the incoming call is on SATCOM Channel 1. If Channel 1 is in use, the Channel 2 call light illuminates. Push the SATCOM Channel 1 transmitter select switch. Selecting the called channel removes the cell call message. Unlike the VHF and HF systems, the call light remains illuminated as long as the SATCOM call is connected. Select the left VHF radio. Notice the SATCOM call light remains illuminated. Deselecting SATCOM does not end a call. A SATCOM call is terminated when the calling party hangs up or by crew action using the CDU. The center CDU is normally used to display SATCOM functions, leaving the left and right CDUs for display of navigation functions. Selecting the SATCOM prompt displays the SATCOM main menu page. Display the SATCOM main menu. Two SATCOM voice channels are available. The SATCOM system may be configured so that none, one, or both channels are dedicated for flight deck use. Channel number, channel status, call priority, agency name, and call action prompts may be displayed for each channel. Call action prompts allow the crew to perform appropriate call functions. An asterisk means selecting the prompt causes a SATCOM system function to activate. To see how this works, terminate the SATCOM channel 1 call. Select the end call prompt and observe the indications. The call light extinguishes and the channel status changes to available. Channel 1 is available and ready for an immediate call to the last called agency. Make call initiates the selected call. We'll use this function in a moment. Selecting the answer call prompt answers an incoming call. Reject rejects an incoming call without connecting. If a channel is in use when a call is initiated, the call is placed in a queue or camped on to the current call. When the channel becomes available, the call is automatically initiated. Selecting preempt will terminate the current call and initiate the new call immediately. Cancel camp cancels the queued call. Now let's make a SATCOM call to the scheduling office. Select the directory prompt. The directory page allows the crew to manually enter a phone number or to access pages of preset numbers. The prompt labels are defined by your airline. Select operations. Confirm the SATCOM channel to be used for the call. If desired, the other channel can be selected by entering the channel number. Next, locate the call label for the desired agency. Confirm the preset call priority is appropriate or enter the desired priority. These are the call priority types. Now, select scheduling. The display automatically returns to the main menu. Scheduling is selected and ready to be called. Although not required to initiate the call, let's first push the SATCOM Channel 1 transmitter select switch.
Touch the highlighted area. Now, place a call to the scheduling office and observe the prompt and system status changes as the call is processed. When the call is complete, disconnect the SATCOM call. Here is a summary of system messages you might see. Select Submenu. The Submenu page allows the crew to access system status, channel status, and various maintenance related information. These pages are not discussed in this lesson. The cell call message indicates that a VHF or HF selective call has been received or a SATCOM voice call is connected and waiting to be answered. The medium level SATCOM message indicates that an emergency or high priority call placed by the flight crew did not connect. The low level SATCOM message displays for a low priority SATCOM call. The SAT voice lost advisory message displays if SATCOM voice capability is temporarily lost. If the SATCOM voice communication system is inoperative, the SATCOM voice advisory message displays. The SATCOM advisory message displays if the SATCOM system is inoperative. This completes the instruction portion of the lesson.